Hello YouTube, my name is Stars, and welcome to a brand new series on a game called Starbound. So, I don't know if you guys have heard of this before, but basically all I want to say is that it is basically an open world RPG sandbox style game, similar to Terraria, but the games Starbound and Terraria are very different. So, let's jump right in and create a character. So, you can be a bunch of different species. Um, in the past, I've played as the Nova Kid species. So, you can also be a human. I'm not entirely sure what we should pick, but. Let's see. So, of course, I'm female. And. Maybe we should go with let's just go with apex for now so of course I think I'll go with this hairstyle um skin color uh sure we'll go with this beard style what what? Maybe we should... Hold up. What? But I don't... I'm, I picked female. I don't understand. What's that? Okay, maybe... <laughs> I don't even know what's going on right now. So... Actually, I'll try with Florin. This one's pretty cool, actually. So... I don't think we can... I don't know if we can pick the hair on this um skin color I'll go with blue leaf color ooh that's actually really cool I think I'll go with purple for the leaf color or should we go purple for this and then blue for this uh let's stick with blue for the skin color and purple uh, foliage oh this this is pretty cool I see. So. This one. I like this one. Dirt. Uh. It's kind of hard to see. Uh, sure, let's do a leg wear. So, this personality. <laughs> this is a personality that's kind of funny, actually. I don't know what these exactly mean, but I don't know. We'll just go with this legwear color. Uh, the green's pretty cool. A uh, shirt color. I'm gonna go with something a bit light. Maybe we'll stick with purple to match the foliage color. A uh, flower. Where's the flower? Do I not have a flower on mine? Huh. Okay. Uh, so I guess that's it. I don't know what this name is, but of course we're changing the name to Stars. So I'm gonna go with Survival. I don't really want to go with Hardcore, and I do not really like the Casual mode. I feel like the casual is a bit too easy and makes it a little bit boring. We're not going to skip the intro mission. And done. So, I have played the first part of this game. Alright, we're back. Uh, um, my computer was having a hard time processing the fact that I just started the game. So, basically what I was saying was, for those of you that are familiar with the game, I'm still on the first planet and I have no idea what, what I'm doing. Um, that's where I was at in the oh, I lost my train of thought that's where I was when I was playing on my own character by myself so yeah <laughs> that part so I don't want to skip it here we go so I'm up my eyes are still closed though so. oh there we go to interact with a nearby person, door, or other object, you should hover over it with your cursor and press E if you are awake enough to do so. 
I feel like I'm walking pretty slow. Might be lag. But yeah, so it's what what I was saying in that Terraria video, the last Terraria video, that you press E to interact. Your uniform is available to collect from your personal locker. It's quite impressive that you can remain so serene when you are running so late. Well done, you. So we want to grab this stuff. And uh, here we go. We got our snazzy outfit here. Alright, what's this? This is the, oh, this is the graduation flyer. Okay, so we got our cool outfit on. Uh, soon you'll be a real protector with your very own matter manipulator. Must be exciting. So I don't want to spoil what the matter manipulator does. Off to a bit of a late start, aren't you, stars? I guess so. I was sleeping in. You're making me even later, though, because you're talking to me. All right. Oh, they got very excited to see me. Welcome to the... Welcome to the Turan... Yeah, I don't even want to bother to pronounce that. Um, okay. <laughs> that was a funny noise that it just made. The vending machine swallowed my pixels. Could this day get any worse? Oh, no. That sucks. Let's see. I want to buy something. Uh, how about... What's this? Oop. Here we go. Let's buy this. Let's see if I can drink some. Get me like hyped up before my graduation. All right. So we're gonna drink that right before we get started. This game looks like really amazing. Just want to point that out. I really like how it looks. So there's like flower petals flowing everywhere. Weary every day more petals to sweep. That must be a really tedious job, but it's so pretty. The tree and the flower petals, that would be an awesome job. Just sweeping it up. Huh? Sit with me for a moment and let us enjoy these beautiful blossoms. Yes. Thumbnail right here. Perfect thumbnail. Alright. You're really cutting it close. Uh, yeah, I know. Just, just stop talking to me and let me... Oops, I closed the door on myself. Oh, these are all other people that are graduating, I guess. I have played this part before, but it's been a while. So, I'm so nervous. Before I go up there, I must drink this... Well, what's this called? Uh, uh, Oculmanade. I'll kill lemonade. It's like lemonade, but there you go. Oh, my mouth. <laughs> my mouth looks so, like, weird. I don't know why. But that was kind of cute. Okay. Yeah, everybody, shut up. <laughs> my fellow protectors, today we come together to witness the, protect the protectorate grow. For over 500 years, we have stood proud here on Earth, drawing together races of all kinds in the name of peace. I don't know if I'm reading that wrong or not. Our task, to protect the fellow beings, to support, to support, house, and educate those that seek for, that seek our aid, and to fast, oh, I don't know, um, sorry, today in the name of peace, we welcome our newest, uh, compatriots and present them each with our greatest toll, the matter manipulator, oh shoot, huh, what was that? And this part scared the crap out of me when I first played this. You graduate, take them take the manipulator and get away safely. So it's not safe to remain here. Okay. Oops. Uh I don't know. I exit this chat, but anyways, let's just grab this. This is the matter manipulator. So we gotta get out of here. Everything's kind of like frozen. You can hear people screaming in the back. Oh god, who's this a picture of? This is like some like creepy foreshadowing right now. Wait, is that a picture of me? Hold up. No, I actually I don't think so. I'm not sure. That kind of just scared me a little bit. Okay. Uh. 
I am sick still as well, but yeah. It appears the ceiling has closed. The matter manipulator can be used to clear this dirt. Press the R key to... Okay. So basically we have to... Kind of... Clear all this dirt to get through here. And then we pick up the dirt. You know, how it goes. So we don't want to go up there right now. We want to just get through. Uh, alarm's going off. So, yeah, this room is, uh... A scan show the room beyond this door has flooded. It would be best not to enter there. Not to go in. So, I remember this from the beginning. We want to go up here. Roof access. I love how it has all, like, the nice backgrounds and stuff. Well, I say nice, but there's, like, a tentacle just kind of crushing buildings in the background. But, you know, you know how nice that is. Um... The scale of this disaster is immeasurable. The destruction occur- I, I don't know what that said, but... Uh, to jump down from a platform like this, you should hold S to crouch. And then tap spacebar. So we kind of crouch down, and then jump right through. Awesome, so... I don't know what's happening. There's so much black. <laughs> Aw. The vending machine's broken. That's the worst part about this. So we gotta avoid these guys. So, well, the backgrounds in this, like, are just crazy mind-blowing. It's awesome how this game looks. So, I guess we have to use the matter manipulator get to get down there. So you basically just hold down left-click. You can see the, the items bar on the top of the screen, if you're wondering. The chest sitting on that conveyor belt should contain some kind of weapon. Please arm yourself. So here we get the um, the broken broadsword, and we got some pixels as well. That's pretty good. Okay, so have this in hand. So again, just pressing left click like any other game, basically. I have bypassed the pre-flight checks. Get aboard. Alrighty then. I didn't really get aboard, I kind of jumped and then fell down and then... That was kind of strange. Alright. I love this cutscene as well. It just looks really cool. Starbound. Here we go, guys. This game is awesome. I hope you guys like this series. So this video is probably going to be longer than usual because the... Just the intro alone has taken over 10 minutes. Oh cool, the pet that I get with this one is like a like a worm thing? I don't really know what this is. In my other one it had just like a really big like like a big kind of like fluffy thing. I don't know, it's really cute. That's cool. So I'm rebooting the um the system thingy. Yeah, that's what it's called, SAL sale. Your ship-based artificial intelligence. I'm also programmed to offer you information and advice. Uh, the ship's navigation system was damaged in our escape. Our location is currently unknown. Uh, we're currently in orbit around an unknown world. The ship is heavily damaged and we are unable to leave orbit. I suggest you beam down to the planet's surface using the teleporter and search for supplies and perhaps a means of fixing the ship. So we get a mystery reward. Or mysterious reward. Except. So, what we want to do is head down here. Here, beam down and witness the cool cutscene of going down. Wow, so we spawn in a very dangerous place. Oh, that was a very weird hurt sound. So I've never played as this species before. Um, but let's let's explore. So we should probably build a uh, house right now. And also, if you guys are wondering, to destroy the background, you hold down right click instead of left click. So this coal is used to make torches to light the way, as Sail is saying on the side. So yeah. So let's just get started and get right into this.
so this and Terraria are probably going to be my main series for now, but I'm going to try to... I'm going to squeeze in some Minecraft as well. So, we'll just see how it goes, but as you guys know, I'm doing daily videos now. So, yeah, this video is probably going to only go on for 10 more minutes. Because I need to get this video up pretty quickly. The other species I was playing as before would like light up on its own, like emit light by itself. So it wasn't too kind of difficult. So, oh right, I need wood for this as well. So we wanna, the I forgot, you totally, it's just like every other game basically I've played on this channel, you have to chop down some trees if I can even get up here, all right. And I love the tree animation in this as well. In Terraria, the tree just kind of like explodes and then it just wood goes everywhere, but in this one the tree kind of like wobbles. Oh, it fell a bit weird at there because it hit the top. So it's pretty cool. You can you guys can read sail on the side if you want, but um it's not too important. Oh wow, I got some some peas. Pearl peas. And I got some seeds as well, that's awesome. So later on, a bit later on, possibly in the next episode when we get a farm set up, we'll be able to plant those and get some food going so we don't starve to death. As you guys can see here where my cursor is, the red is the health bar, um, green is the energy bar, and the yellow kind of is the, the food bar. So we're going to need to make a bed so we can get our energy and health up later on but of course you need we need to grow some food later as well so I believe it was like some like iron ore or something that I just got so yeah we should probably grab this coal as well and there's a graveyard there's some snails in the graveyard I love snails So, excuse my voice right now, I'm just kind of sick, but still want to try to record daily as best I can. Because my voice has gotten kind of better, but still a bit off. So I got some plant fiber. Uh, yeah, that's for making fabric. So I can make some new outfits and like um, a bed and some like other important stuff. And then wheat and wheat seeds, again, to, like, grow things, to make, like, bread and, like, cake and stuff. I wonder, I think there's cake in this game, I can't really remember. Ha! These guys can't get me. This is hilarious. Oh my gosh, I've never had this happen. You can't get me. You can't get me. Oh, now it's raining. See ya. All right, some cotton. Kill the cotton. Cotton seed, cotton fiber. The rain sounds are really pretty in this game. It's pretty awesome. You guys can't, I don't know if you guys can tell, but I'm chopping down this tree right now. It's taking quite long, actually. Oh, there we go. And the logs kind of like fall everywhere, make it more, a bit more realistic, as realistic as a game like this can be. So I do really love the graphics in this. I know I've said that a bunch of times. Oh, so I do have like a kind of a glowy thing in with this species as well. Other one was like a lot more, I think, though, when I was playing as Nova Kid. This species is really cool, though. Oh. So, yeah, we're just kind of gonna dip around, sort of, in this episode, I guess. So, there's a bunch of different types of, like, foods and, like, just different items in general in this game. Which is pretty awesome, because, like... It's. I think it's good to have like a lot of variety because then you just keep on discovering new things. 
Unless you, like, go to the wiki and just, like, look everything up. Because I just go through this. Like, I like to go just grow, go through the game and just explore new things and just discover them rather than just, like, kind of finding them and just knowing, like, oh, yeah, I knew about this. I think that's a really great way to play a game. And what is this thing? What on earth? Oh, I'm gonna die. No, no, no. Oh. Oh, I hate... Oh. Thirty percent of pixels lost. Oh, and it's got like a new. Oh wow, that's actually a really cool animation it just had there. I guess it has like a different animation for each kind of um, species or species, because this one's like a plant kind of themed one, so kind of like grew back again. Oh, here we go. <laughs> I spawned right where I was. Okay, that's cool. So I still have this graduation flyer. Oh good, I thought this was like a huge drop into a cave, but it was just kind of in there. That's pretty good. Alright, so I got back all my stuff. Except I lost some, um, pixels. So that kind of sucks. Sucks. I don't, I don't know. It sounded weird when I said that. So, currently in orbit, the ship is heavily damaged. So, search for supplies. And perhaps a means of fixing the ship. So I believe we have to get down to the core of the earth. But before we do that, we have to do a lot of preparing. Like get a farm started and grow some food, as I was saying. Archaic energy source. 32% chance that is worth it. I'm just getting a 98% chance that you have nothing better to do. Okay, then. Well, Sale just dissed us. There's way better things to do, like, like making cake and, and eating the cake and then... Making more cake and then eating the cake again and yeah, so I guess we should get down and find the um, that energy energy source. Uh, can't talk today. Right, so don't want to drown either. <laughs> that would not be very good. Sorry if I mute the mic. Obviously, I'm just kind of <clears throat> sick, so don't think you guys want to hear me just going into coughing fits every couple minutes. So we should. I should probably get a flashlight. Or do I have a flashlight? I might have one actually. Got a lot of food items. That's pretty. And what's this? Oh, nice. Got a bandage. Ba bandage. Ba bandage? I got a bandage. Um, that shows how good I am at reading. <clears throat> Sorry if I'm too close to the mic or too far. I'm still trying to kind of adjust and figure out how close I should be. So I don't want my audio to get really messed up. So that's why I might be moving around a little bit in the video. Just because if some parts of the video sound a little a little bit off, then it's just only a part of the video, not the entire thing. Oh gosh, I thought I was going to die then. Nice. What is this, a core fragment? Good. What was that? I didn't collect it, whatever it was. I should have destroyed it, not the th ground under it. So I'm not going to worry about that coal right now. There's some noises that are kind of creeping me out right now that are happening. Hope you guys can hear that. So, there's already kind of a tunnel here. I'm just kind of making it thicker. Some more plant fiber and such. So, I believe we have to get down right to the very, like, kind of center of the earth. I'm just going right for it. I'm not preparing or anything at the moment. I'm doing actually, like, pretty good on food. Maybe, maybe, oh wait, because, like, my species can, like, generate its own food because I'm a plant, right? Is it, does that make any sense? But I need sunlight for that. Oh, and my watch is freaking out. Alrighty. So. Let's see. see. 
So some copper ore. Oh, that that thing just fell like completely. It's crazy. So just kind of gathering up a lot of things right now. I got some rope. I don't know where I got that from. Just kind of aimlessly mining right now. Oh gosh, what's this? Oh! Oh no! Alright guys, I think I'm gonna end this video right here to torture you guys. So, my name is Stars, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Make sure you stay cool. Bye!